Hey, it's Doug with the Mahoney Mine. This morning I was out here fish, finishing up some of our ore processing and we were actually pouring some ingots and things. And I got to thinking, one thing that I can't find on the internet, on, on YouTube or even uh, on different mining forums and that kind of thing, is how to process silver ore. Um, how to identify it is hard enough, let alone how to crush it, how to separate it, how to cupel it down, all of that. So I figured that's what we need. Let's do a video today on silver. So today at the Mahoney Mine, we're playing with silver. We've got a small sampling of ore here from the mine, and there was a couple of them that caught my eye for a couple of reasons. These two right here, one, they're really, really heavy, and two, in them, they've got a lot of gray material that looks like it could be silver. Now, silver is grayish blue, and this one especially is just packed. You can see the push-up through there that has packed this full of silver blue ore. So we're going to take just these two rocks, we'll go ahead and hit them in the K&M crusher, and we'll go ahead and put the tailings into a bucket. We're not going to sluice them down or anything like that. And we're going to full out smelt this. We'll go ahead and start off and do it in a crucible. We'll end up cupeling it. And let's see in just those two rocks how much uh, silver per ton that we get. So let's start by weighing the rocks. 3.4 pounds is what we get. In these two little rocks, that's just 3.4 pounds of ore. All right, so two decent sized rocks, 3.4 pounds. Let's crush them down and let's smelt them up. Okay, 3.4 pounds crushed up. We're gonna go ahead and run it through the K&M chain crusher and turn it into absolute flour and then we'll smelt it up. All right, this is gonna be a real easy recipe. We're putting in 16 grams of lead, 100 grams of material, and 200 grams of Mahoney Mine Flux. Let's see what we get. Alright, that ought to be cool enough. Let's see what we got. Look at that, slipped right out. Perfect shape. I see metal on the head. Let's break her off, see what we got here. Get something to hit it with. See that prill appearing already? There we go. So there's our lead. So there's our lead prill. If I can get my hands around it. So there's our lead prill. Look at that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take that and weigh it up. See what we got. All right, 
right, let's go ahead and wire up. Fifteen point four three, and usually you'll lose or fifteen. What do we got here? Yeah, fifteen point. Yeah, it's fluctuating. Yeah, fifteen point four three, and usually you'll lose a couple of grams of lead cupelling. So that's a really good number compared to what we started with. Let's go ahead and put this in a cupel. And we're going to cupel it down and see what we get out of that ore. Now remember, this is only 100 grams of ore. Okay, here's our lead prill and our number 7 bone ash cupel. And we're going to fire up the cupel to about 1100 degrees inside the kiln. Drop the prill inside. The, that uh, cupel right there will absorb all of the lead and all of the non-precious metals and leave us with a bead and let's see what we got. Okay, it flashed solid, we shut down the kiln, and that is not at all what I expected. Look at the size of that. Holy schlamoly. Let's pull that out. Looks a little silvery, a little gold, a little each. We'll weigh it up, and we'll do a little bit of math, but that's a lot larger than I anticipated getting out of 100 grams. So that was some pretty solid silver ore. All right, here we go. Let's weigh this puppy. Look at that. That is not at all what I anticipated. That's a really big bead right there. So, let's get our scale down to zero. And we're pushing, wow, 0 0.93, 0 0.92, 0 0.95. And it just depends on the air. It's going up and down. Uh, we're going to call it 0 0.95 because the scale's all over the place. We've got a little bit of wind going, and it's a very sensitive scale. So we're going to call it 0 0.95, and now let's do a little bit of math. That is almost a gram. It's about a tenth below, less than that. But that's almost a gram out of 100 grams of rock, and we've got a whole bunch more. Okay, we finished that smelt. It's the end of another day here in northern Nevada. We appreciate you tuning in. Great. We're very, very grateful. Um, from myself, Tanya, and Radar, thank you for watching our channel. So, at the end of that smelt, we ended up with a little over 300 ounces per ton of value. And that's pretty normal in the Virginia City area. It's one of the greatest silver areas there is. And in and amongst of looking for gold, we literally have to drill and blast through silver to get to it. So, so thank you for tuning in. There's a lot more coming up. So stay tuned. Push that like button. Subscribe. Share. We greatly appreciate having you here on our channel.